Welcome to a new video of Algebra Wonder. In this video, we will learn about what is system of linear equations. So what is system of linear equations? System of linear equation is a collection of more than one linear equation. So it can be two, two linear equation, three, and so on. So here is an example, and we use decimals for that. So I have two equations here, y equals 3x plus 4, and y equals 6x plus 1. And this is as an example of system of linear equation. So it can be also if you three three equation, yep, it can be four, yep. Okay. So what is the solution of a system? So the solution is where the point of intersection, the intersection point, that the point lies on both lines. So in this example here, point one and seven is a solution. Why it is a solution? Because this point will make the two equations true. It lies on both of them and the both lines. And this is why we say just a point of intersection. Let us see if this is true. So if x is 1, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7. So here we go. 1 and 7 lies on both in this line. Let's see if it lies on the other line. So 6 times 1, x is 1 here as we see from the point. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So yes y is 7 so it's true so this point here will make the two equation true and lies in both line so this is the solution so we can just see it's just just a point of intersection the point of intersection here for this two line it is the solution okay so but sometimes what happen what have if you draw the two line and they intersect in one point we say we have one solution yep because this point lies on both line this point is on the blue line and also is on the red line. So this is a solution for this system. But what happens if the two uh, lines are parallel lines? means they have the same slope, but different y-intercept. Okay? So in this scenario, we have no solution. There is no point of intersection. There is no point that lies on both lines. So that makes this two equation true. What about if my two lines have the same equation, same y-intercept and same slope. So in this scenario, we have infinite number of solutions because every single point that lies on both lines, we have infinite of them. This point can be a solution, this point can be a solution, this point can be a solution. So we have an infinite number of solutions because pretty much every single point is lies on both lines. From, from uh, every single point here, I mean. Not, every, not this point for sure, no. It has to be the point that lies on both lines. Okay, so let's see this a story from real life, how we use a system of linear equation. So, you know, uh, the basketball team at one of the school would like to make a cookie fundraising to collect some fund for the basketball. So they want to figure out this two company. The first company they offer that, you know, the total cost is $2 for each cookie, but you have to pay uh, $100 in advance. So they, it's $100 plus $2 for any extra cookie. This company, they say, no, they pay, you have to pay $75 initiation amount and then $3 for each uh, cookies here. I mean, it, both of them is dozen cookies. So now let us see if we graph both of them, you know, this is going to get the graph for us. So the first company is the red one. Here's the red line. The second company is the blue one. And then let, let us see what this graph will tell us. Okay, and what is the point of intersection, which is the solution, will tell us why people need that. So as you can see here, the point of intersection, it tells us that when you, if you're going to buy 25 dozen of cookies, both company will cause the same. So let us see here. So here is the $2 times the dozen of the cookies. So 2 times 25 is 50 plus 100 is 150. Let's see the other one. So $3 for each dozen. So 3 times 25 dozen, it give you 75 plus 75 is 150. So as you can see here, if you buy 25 dozens, you know, doesn't matter which companies you get. But what happened if you're, if the, the basketball team decide to buy 20 dozens only okay so for 20 dozen as you can see here which one is cheaper is the blue what happened if they're gonna buy more than 25 like 50 dozens 
okay so which one is cheaper is it it you know and this is why it's really helpful to use order uh, system of equation in this kind of scenario to be able to compare and to get the most efficient uh, price okay time for algebra wonder is it possible for a system of linear equation to have two solutions only think about it go ahead and share the answer with classmates or your family and have fun and enjoy the math thank you